Dear students, welcome to EPG Part Shala. I am Dr. Kunal Kesri, Assistant Professor at G.B. Pant Social Science Institute, Allahabad. Today we will be covering a part of paper on migration and urbanization. The module is entitled as Migration Patterns in India. Learning objectives of this module are to study the trends and patterns of migration in India. especially migration trends after independence of india recent patterns of migration regional pattern of migration regions of migration and patterns of temporary labor migration kingsley davis in 1963 argued that migration is an adjustment to deal with the depletion of exertion of local resources caused commonly by population increase it may be a response to a number of push and pull factors which have a plethora of reasons behind it migration is now recognized as an important factor in influencing social and economic development it has been defined in many ways by different scholars migration is the crossing of the boundary of a political or administrative unit for a certain minimum period of time according to un improvement in economy and technology are increasing the flow of migrants in the globalized world the flow though varies across countries but the determinants of migration are more or less the same india is a country with the long history of international as well as internal migration still volume of migration is traditionally low coming to trends and patterns in india starting with migration trends after independence of india after independence of india which was under british control for long period two types of migration streams were noteworthy initial one was mostly forced in nature and the result of the partition of the country in 1947 by which about 14.49 million people were migrated involuntarily between india and pakistan the second movement was voluntarily and the result of the rapid growth of industries in the port cities of the country like calcutta now kolkata and bombay now mumbai the small and medium sized industrial centers became independent on unskilled laborers coming from the surrounding countryside for example majority of the workers in the jute industry came from bihar uttar pradesh odisha and andhra pradesh now coming to recent trends and patterns decades of 1971 to 1981 and 1981 to 1991 were affected by severe economic crisis in the country due to lack of growth in the manufacturing and increased prices of petroleum its impact was visible in all types of migration streams after the beginning the phase of liberalization of the indian economy in 1991 policy makers supporters as well as critics have great expectations that economic reforms would increase internal migration as shown in the table after the close observation of two decades of post liberalization period it could be said that in the first decade when economy began to recover and consequently a moderate increase in the rural urban migration between the states has been observed during 1991 to 2001 except urban to rural streams other streams especially rural to urban one have maintained the rhythm of growth in this decade the second decade of economy reforms seems to be less conducive for internal migration there are ample of reasons to this statement after looking at the recently released migration data of 2011 census about 453.6 million persons that means 37.5% of indian population consist of migrants which are settled in the place of different residence from pre previous place of residence in 2001 figure stood at 314.5 million which is 30 0.6% of 
Indian population. It results in a significant increase of almost 7% in the last decade in the proportion of migrants. Additionally, we observe marginal growth in the rural to urban migration streams of 0.3% and growth of 7.4% in urban to urban stream of interstate migration during 2001 to 2011 as shown in figure. Regions of migration are very important part of patterns. It is important to mention that lesser Indians are now migrating for work or employment related regions. 10.2% as per census 2011 which is a steep decline from previous decades figure of 14.4% as shown in figure. This may be due to influence of employment guarantee scheme of government like Manrega. However, it is yet to be examined taking into consideration of other factors also. In 2011, most of the migrants around 71% were female. Most people 49% migrate for marriage. Interestingly, 69.7% women migrated for marriage in 2011, which is almost 4% higher from previous census of 2001 that was 65.9%. It is important to note here that employment or work related migration has been declined among women also as it was 3.2% in 2001 and during last decade means census 2011 it is found to be 2.4% only. Now coming to original pattern of migration. According to census 2001, results on net migration based on migrants by last residence. It is found that during 1991 to 2001, Maharashtra stands at the top of the list with 2.3 million net in migrants, followed by Delhi with 1.7 million, Gujarat 0.68 million and Haryana 0.67 million. On the other hand, Uttar Pradesh with minus 2.6 million and Bihar minus 1.7 million were the two states with largest number of net out migrants migrating out of state. There is no doubt that the interstate mobility has considerably increased during 1991 to 2001. Coinciding with the Indians economic liberalization program initiated in 1991. Figure 3 shows that the net migrant flow at the state level with duration 0.9 years based on the place of last residence in 2001 census. The net migration is mainly found in the developed states like Punjab, Haryana, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Delhi where pull factors are stronger. These states attract population from almost all the states. On the other hand, most of the remaining states are net out migrating, but not all of them are poor states like Kerala. Now coming to pattern of temporary labor migration in India. By definition, temporary labor migration or circulation is a move made for a short period with the intention of returning to the usual place of residence. Temporary absence from the place of origin of the migrant is a required condition for analysis and duration of six months is generally considered the limit for temporary stay. The temporary labor migrant in the NSS 64th round has been defined as a household member who stayed away from his or her village or town for one month or more but fewer than six months in the last 365 days for employment or in search of employment. There are 13 million temporary labor migrants in the year preceding 2007-2008 which is the reference period of the survey and the migration rate at the national level is 20 migrants per thousand. The migration rate for rural areas is quite higher 26.4 per thousand compared to urban areas 5.5 per thousand. The original pattern of temporary labor migration shows that it occurs over a 
vast geographical stretch under varied socio-economic milieu. As clear from figure that there are five pockets of very high prevalence of temporary labor migration which are shown by the darkest shade. First, the southern region of Rajasthan and southeastern region of Gujarat. Second, the southern region of Uttar Pradesh and Vindhyan and southern region of Madhya Pradesh. The largest pocket of temporary migration in India lies in the eastern India consisting of northern and southern regions of Bihar, Hazaribagh Plateau of Jharkhand and eastern plains of West Bengal. Fourth, the southeastern part in southern Odisha. Fifth, Nagaland represents the last center of high prevalence of temporary labor migration. Temporary labor migration is a survival strategy of the rural poor in India, with such migration being more prevalent in the country's northern and eastern states. It may be inferred that temporary labor migration in India is mainly distress driven and poorer people migrate for employment from backward regions irrespective of the level of economic development of the state concerned. So far, we have learnt that internal migration is historically low in India. However, recently it has increased significantly in the last decade. Employment related migration has also declined among male and female. It is important to note that marriage migration is main feature of women's migration in the country and women dominate in all forms of migration, especially rural to rural migration. Temporary labor migration is a survival strategy of the rural poor in India, with such migration being more prevalent in the country's northern and eastern states and its character is different from permanent or semi-permanent migration in the country. Questions Describe the recent trend of internal migration in India. What are the main reasons for migration? Is there any variation in regions related to migration pattern in India by sex? Which regions have higher intensity of temporary labor migration? Explain. Thank you students.